All right, how's it going, Tycoons? For today, we're looking at ticker symbol BYND. That's beyond me. All right, um, so where is this test tube meet gonna go? Are we going back up to 200 or are we going down to 45? Um, I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown and I'm also gonna show you some key areas to where you can get over 150% on your stock return um, if you're patient, okay? So um, with that being said, let's go ahead and um, dive right into it, okay? Um, we are going to be looking at the one year, one day chart right now. We're looking at the daily chart. Um, so I just want to show you guys a couple things. OK, if we do hit this low again of 45, as you can see, Beyond has a low of 45, as noted right here. Um, if you're able to snag shares at 45, OK, and then hold it back to all time highs, that's a 432 percent investment. Or if you were able to buy shares at 45 and then you were able to sell at the all time highs, then you had a 432% return on your investment, okay? Um, but currently, <clears throat> you know, Beyond is not that cheap, okay? Um, as we said, it, it was at 45, went up to above 200, almost went to 245, okay? So that's an amazing, amazing, um, you know, rally that it had, and it's been falling back since that, okay? If you notice here, all right, in uh, March of 2020, um, we got pretty close, okay? got pretty close to 45 again, we got really close, um, you know? And so right now we are back in these key support levels for long-term investing, if in my opinion, okay? Because I wanna show you guys, if you were able to buy below this support line, okay? It has paid off well each time, okay? If you were able to buy and hold here, you could have sold up here, you could have sold up here, could have sold up here, you could have sold up here, okay? There's plenty of um, good investment opportunities below $89, below $90 on BYND. Um, and it's currently at $85 a share. So I like it a lot for some long-term positions, maybe some shares or maybe some LEAP um, option contracts. But I would be cautious on going on any LEAP contracts because to me, Beyond has um, still has room to drop, okay? Um, it's just a matter of how far is the drop gonna be and where do we find support, okay? So currently, um, we got a couple things going on. <clears throat> so um, before it had earnings, um, beyond gap down massively, okay? Had a huge, huge drop, all right? We'll go ahead and take a look at this drop real quick and see it was a drop of 15%, okay? Uh, nearly 15% overnight in one day, it dropped 15%. And then once it dropped that 15%, okay? Um, in 12 days, it rallied 16% and recovered, all right? So beyond when it comes to its daily gaps is, has done a good job um, of filling them um, in a decent time period, okay? Um, as you can see, we had these gaps down, all right? This is a gap down to fill um, right here in this area, okay? We had this little gap down and we had this little gap down to fill, okay? Those were two gaps right there. So currently I had two gaps. It has, uh, or it had this gap, gap down, Filled that gap really quickly. So, um, you know, a lot of the OTT members um, hopped in some call plays on Beyond and then were able to get massive returns because Beyond recovered quickly. Okay. Um, and the options trading tycoons, we love playing gaps. That's one of our uh, favorite, you know, patterns to look for to spot or indicators is a, is a gap on the daily chart. We love playing those. And, um, you know, they always catch our eye. So, again, um, Beyond had earnings, okay, on the 10th. All right, and beyond tanked again, all right? It fell again, gap down. And as you can see here on the daily chart, it's slowly begun, okay, to fill um, this gap, all right? So I have a line drawn up right here. Um, it's from 85.15 up to the all-time highs. That's 180% return on your investment, which, um, <clears throat> you know, that's what's called a perfect trade, okay? Um, things do not go perfectly, all right? So what I'm showing you, is a scenario where there's 180% max profit currently, all right? Um, if it goes back to all-time highs, that would be your max profit. Um, so you can gauge that yourself on how, what you want out of that max profit, okay? So if you can, if you're happy with 20% on shares, okay, then you can put $1,000 into Beyond, all right? And you can, you know, um, $10,000, whatever you want, and you can get yourself 20%, I would say, comfortably, out of that 180% max profit. Or if you want 50%, 100%, that's for you to decide, okay? Um, <clears throat> but I do think that um, Beyond has some great uh, day trading um, possibilities here soon, okay? Opportunities, we'll call them. 
and I'll show you why we have some bullish divergence. All right, what that is, is when the stock price has a high and then it makes a lower high, okay? Um, <clears throat> so we had that the first time we initially looked at beyond, all right? And that's how we caught this, this, this bullish rally into the gap fill, okay? And what happened on the RSI, if you look at this point, we had a low, Okay, and then we at this point here, we made a higher low. Okay, so at this point and this point, we made higher lows on the RSI indicating strength. Okay, but the price action was indicating weakness because it kept falling, falling down. All right, and so because of that, there was a short term rally. Okay, and then it fell back down. All right, <clears throat> a lot of times divergence is not a perfect indicator. It does not mean their stock is going to go on a complete reversal. Okay, as you see. All it meant that there was some bullish divergence and there was a little bit of bullish activity, but nothing to reverse us. OK, we came up to here, filled the gap and then we came back down and gap down again, actually. OK, so with that being said, um, I'll go ahead and adjust these lines. OK, so I can show you guys what happened last time with the bullish divergence and we'll adjust them. OK, to its recent lows. <clears throat> All right. And we're going to take this right here. And we'll put this right here, okay? Because as you can see right here, okay, is when that happened, when that bullish divergence happened, and then we had the pop, okay, the next day after, all right, which is this going up, all right? So <clears throat> you can keep an eye out on beyond because the daily chart has bullish divergence, which is a sign of bullishness, okay? That bullishness may occur or may occur in some in the near future. You can go down to the one hour chart, okay? We'll remove these studies just so it's a little bit clearer for you guys. Um, and I'll show you guys what we have on the one hour chart, okay? Um, so here, if you wanna day trade beyond, um, I think it's got some really great capabilities and possibilities, okay? If you notice on the one hour chart, we're right at the brink of the gap fill, okay? Which is not a coincidence in my opinion. Um, what it is is that there's an imbalance right here where nobody is kind of agreeing on the price all right in this area from 94 to 86 85 in that area um there was an imbalance okay as you see it, it, on the one hour chart it had a huge massive red candle okay and then huge massive green candle in these ranges okay now we do have some support and resistance levels that i've got uh drawn up here OK, if you guys want to screenshot those, I think that if you want to play bullishness, you can look for a bounce at any of these support levels and you can scalp some um, call options. Or if you're bearish, um, you can, you know, below any of these levels, you can scalp some um, put options. All right. And, um, and and take profit at each one of these levels where there could potentially be a bounce. All right. Um, but other than these areas, there's no major support and resistance in this area. It's just an area where it gapped up or down from okay so it either shot all the way down into it or shot all the way up to it you know what i mean um so it's really interesting um that area i think that if we do start to trade in this area and we go above here i think that it has a possibility to fill really quickly okay just as uh it previously did on the last daily gap and we'll go ahead and pull that drawing back up okay um you see here it took <clears throat> one two three four five six seven eight nine eight, nine days of bullishness, okay? And we filled the gap, all right? So we've already had one, two right here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could see the same thing where this thing fills the gap in a week or so, all right? Um, so, you know, be on the lookout for that, for beyond, for some call options. And for any long-term positions, I would be cautious because if we do fill this gap, I think that we can fall again, all right? And we'll go back to the daily chart and I'll show you guys again, if you wanted to invest long term, OK, I would look at opening some positions below ninety dollars and uh, up down to forty five. OK, now, <clears throat> if you keep this in mind, then you should be slowly adding positions into it. OK, because forty five is 50 percent less than, um, you know, 90. OK, if you look here, that's that's a 50 percent drop. OK, um, if it goes down to forty five. So you don't want to go all in on beyond at $90. And let's say you were putting $1,000 into it. You wouldn't want to put all 1000 into there. Okay. You would get a starter position. Okay. Maybe put 10 to 20% of what your position size is going to be just so you can get your feet wet in case this thing does recover and it does get bullish. Okay. You were able to buy some shares at the bottom. Okay. Before, uh, when it was recovering. All right. But the worst thing you can do is go all in, all right, and 
and then it drops down to $45 in a few months and you're hating yourself and you're like, I'm the stupidest investor ever. No, you know, you still have a good long-term position. Okay. Because as I've shown you guys, you can get over hundred percent profit on beyond, um, you know, above 90 once it's above 90, but you know, now you have no more money to reinvest. So if you would have put that initial 200 in there, okay, let's just say this, for instance, let's say you buy 200 here, 200 here, 200 here, 200 here, and 200 here, okay? So now your average cost is gonna be somewhere in the middle between, you know, um, like 60, 55, uh, up to 70. It'll be somewhere in this range, okay? Your average cost is gonna be somewhere in here, all right? Because you've been buying at the top and at the bottom, all right? So that's a good way to look at it, okay? And long-term positions are by those, um, those can either be swing trades for some people for a couple months, or um, for me, when I speak long-term, it at least means one year, okay? Um, so keep an eye on Beyond. And if you guys like this video and made it this far, go ahead and drop a like, and don't forget to comment and subscribe. If you wanna join our Discord, you can use code Zachly, like the channel name, Zachly Trades, and there'll be a link in the description below where you guys can, um, join the discord and get a discount on your membership. All right. I'm up.